everyone, it's me, Nikki. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Excuse me. Um, today is my May wrap up. Um, I am proud of myself. I only read, t I've read two books this month. I didn't even think I was going to read one. Um, uh, my cat went, mi one of my cats went missing for like six days. I was sure he was dead. Um, but he came back. Uh, of course, his asthma was messed up. They found a heart murmur, so that's a whole mess. And then my mom does have cancer, and we've been dealing with that and trying to get um, scans and all kinds of stuff. So I really didn't have the energy to read, but I did read two books. I'm very excited about that, very proud of myself. Um, so the first book I read was an audiobook. Um, it's called Time and the Gods by, um, uh, uh, Lord Dunsany. Uh, he was the Baron of Dunsany, uh, Edward John Morton Drax Plunkett. Um, he originally wrote this book in 1906, and he was essentially, uh, and he essentially inspired Tolkien, uh, oh, here it is on Wikipedia, Lovecraft, because I couldn't remember his name, Lovecraft, Tolkien, Guillermo del Toro, um, Margaret St. Clair, Arthur C. Clarke, Ursula K. Le Guin, so like, he was like, like one of the first fantasy dudes, you know, and this book is called Time and the Gods, and it's just a bunch of short stories, of, it's set in his little universe, um, about uh, time versus the gods and all the people. Uh, there's, uh, there was more. Oh, it's called The Gods of Pagana, um, which is like the first work, but this sort of like explains, it's like the mythology behind that stuff. So it was really interesting. Um, I, it felt like I don't want to say any mythology, but it felt like it could have been a real world mythology. Um, I don't know how much he studied anything. I don't think he was like Tolkien levels, but I think he did enough. Um, so yes, I'd like to read that. Um, and I would also like to reread Time and the Gods, like, in physical, because I've said this about a couple other books. Uh, there's a lot of information, and it is a mythology, and especially if you don't know it as well, I feel like it's better to read it, if, if you can, read it with your eyes. Um... But yeah, I enjoyed it. I can see how people were influenced by him. And um, it was nice to find fantasy before Tolkien, if that makes sense. A lot of it, like a lot of people who say fantasy, like Tolkien started it, but it's he didn't. He was obviously inspired. So I like to find like older fantasy stuff like this. Um, let me see if oh, Neil Gaiman's on here. Um, somebody else. I, uh, we don't talk about him. Um, I don't think I know anybody else. But it says here that, um, Tolkien presented somebody with a copy of one of his books, uh, in helping this other person write the Silmarillion with him, so that's super interesting, um, and it, it is, uh, also, they're just, like, little short stories that, like, somebody had written down, you know, like, it, somebody was just, I don't know, 
how to explain it. It was just really great, and I would definitely check it out. Um, and yeah, I just found it super interesting that to find like older fantasy, like turn of the century type of stuff. Just I like um, that and like turn of the century or older um, sci-fi to see how people wrote futuristic stuff back then and comparing it to now and just to really see how it's changed. Um, oh, and he also has a novel called The King of Elfland's Daughter, which I don't know if it's set in the same stuff, but yes, I think I'm going to try more of that. Um, so I, I enjoyed that. And um, then I read The Sword of Shannara for my Shannara along. <laughs> can't even say it. So this was a reread for me. Uh, looking back on Caw Pile, I actually read this originally in January of this year on audiobook. So I put it back just to, you know, keep everything even. And on a second reread, even better than the first one. Fantastic. Um, and this is about Shay Olmsford, who lives in Shady Vale. Right, right down there where my finger is. And he finds out that that sword only he can wield it against the Dark Lord. So he has to go on a journey to get the sword and defeat the Dark Lord. Um, I think I said in my last review, I didn't really review it, I talked about it. Um, there are Lord of the Rings um, similarities, but I mean like kinda, I talked about this on a uh, Discord that a lot of people were inspired by Tolkien, and I think even on the Wikipedia for this book, I can't find it now, um, that the, because it's like one of the first Del Rey books, the, the guy who wanted, who did Del Rey, um, was like, I want a Lord of the Rings book, get me one. And uh, I'm not sure if Mr. Brooks had already written this, or I can't quite remember, but yeah, Shay is Frodo, his brother is Sam. Um, on the Wikipedia, it says that Minion is Aragorn, when clearly Minion is uh, Merry and Pippin, because he's from the same area as Shay and Flick, um, but he's a bit, I guess everybody, all the hobbits except for Sam were hyper class, high class, but he's a bit, um, Minion is a bit, um, easygoing, he doesn't take, uh, he's the heir to his little kingdom, he doesn't take his responsibilities seriously until he comes back, much like Merry and Pippin. Um, your Aragorn is Balinor, because he's the king of the big city, he's also a bit Boromiri. I have a dwarf, you have two elves. You have two elves, not just one. Um, and then Alanon is like Gandalf. And I mean, there's a dark lord and there's um, a goblin who's sort of obsessed with the sword, but that's not the whole thing. Like there's more to it. Um, at some point, Shay gets separated from everybody, and he runs into two of my favorite characters, Panamon Creel, who's a con man kind of guy, very charming, very charismatic. He has a pike for an arm, or a hand, and uh, Panamon's uh, companion, a rock troll named Kelset, who is fantastic. I love Kelset. Love Panamon. Um... And they just, as they go their own separate ways, and they all have their own adventures, and it's just a lot of fun. 
Um, but I do see the Lord of the Rings things, but it's like Lord of the Rings is all in one book. It's not stretched over three. And then, um, I kind of know what, uh, else is a, it's not totally a fantasy world. There's some explanations of things, but once you know that and you reread it, you're like, oh, oh, okay. So I don't want to spoil anything until we get to that part and then we'll have spoilers, I guess. Um, I'll probably read for this. I'll probably read the trilogy and then do like a spoiler thing of all three books. Just sort of like that because it is sort of grouped into trilogies. There's a book that's only one book. I think a couple have four, but they're mostly like sets of trilogies. So yeah, it, I thought it was great on the second reread. Um, and I really liked, I'm not always sure about Flick, especially in the beginning, because I know what happens, obviously, but even when I didn't, Flick is really distrusting of Minion, and it's like he doesn't want Shay to have another friend, it's really weird, um, but again, I don't, like, because they're just, they're like young men, and Minion is always like, oh, we should do this, and everybody's like, why don't you think with your head, instead of your, whatever your gut is telling you to do. al a bit suspicious wizardy type of thing, um, so that gets a little irritating, I would say, um, because you're like, just stop being suspicious, and tell them the truth. Um, but everyone trusts him anyway, and it all works out in the end, so, yes. There's a couple other character, evil characters that are introduced. There's some that you just dislike, and one you feel real bad for, um, I'm trying to think. I like the rock trolls, I think they're interesting, um... There's a creature they, they're in like a foresty area and there's a creature they meet and it's like almost out of a sci-fi book, not a fantasy book. And you're like, whoa, that's weird. So I do like those little things where it's not like a total fantasy book. There's hints of other, other stuff and I quite enjoy that. So yes, those are the two books I read. I'm so proud of myself for even doing that. Um... My TBR will have been up already, and I don't even know if I'm going to read all those. I'm at least going to try to read the Elf Stones. But, yes. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day, and I will see you all next time. Bye.